Hey guys and girls, we had amazing feedback from the webinar yesterday, had over a thousand people booked into that and I had a number of agents contact me and Susan, my business manager, and say, listen, there were three of them that you covered, but you went really fast. We'd love to watch those as video. So I thought, let's do a live stream video of those scripts and dialogues. So the first one I wanna cover is the one you're going to get asked. The odds are irresistible 100%. They're gonna ask you this. It's not sale of the century. It's not guesswork. They're gonna be asking you this at a listing presentation. How much is my house worth? And the way that you answer this question, you're either gonna get the listing, you're either gonna end up blowing the listing, or you're gonna list it and it's gonna be an overpriced turkey. So it is critical, it is crucial, you nail this. Here's the response. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, the value of your home is dependent on four things. The location, the presentation, the agent you pick, and the strategy they use. The good news is, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, out of those four, you control three of those. You don't control the location, but you control the other factors. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, it is the process, not the promise of a price that's gonna get you top dollar. Let's talk about that process. Strategy, script number two. This is for the vendor that is listed with you. In week one, you get a top offer. You get close to the asking price and you know you'll never get any more again. And you try and get your vendor to accept it, but they keep saying the same thing. It's only been on the market for a week or it's early days. Here's your response. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, it's not how long you've been on the market, it is how long the buyer has been in the market. Easy, short, simple, cut through to the point, never use a thousand words when 50 will do. Script number three, I used this one two weeks ago at an auction. I had a buyer after the auction trying to negotiate, got passed in and I'm sitting there talking to the buyer and he said, but Mr. Auctioneer, the market is going down and I'm gonna keep looking because I think it's going to bottom and that's when I'll come in. And I looked at him and I said, how will you know the market has bottomed? How will you know it's bottomed? And he blankly looked at me and I said, think about it. The only way you know the market has bottomed is when the market starts to go up because then you can look backwards and say that was the bottom back then but by that stage it's too late because you won't be buying at the bottom i said gets worse when the market has started to go up there's less stock on the market that's what's causing the marketplace to go up so if you're a buyer, you don't end up buying this house that you like today, no. Because there's less stock, you'll buy what's available. So you don't get the house that you want. Gets worse. When the market starts going up, apart from paying more, apart from not getting the house you want, you also will pay a higher rate because that's when banks raise their interest rates to slow the market down. 
So I'm going to ask you a simple question. You like this home. Are you going to make a decision for your family based on the market or based on your life? Guys and girls, scripts and dialogues, a couple of points I want to say, internalize them, do not sound robotic, make them your words, sound like a friend giving advice to another friend at a cafe. That's the secret. You get paid for what you say, how you say it. Tennis players get paid for the way they hit a tennis ball. Footy players get paid for the way they kick the ball. You get paid. You are a professional, GoPro, master your craft, become the best at words. But have the intent there, because people will forget what you say, but they'll never forget the feeling you leave them with, and you don't want to leave them with commission breath. Guys and girls, I've had a number of people that have been on my real estate gym pre-register list say, Tom, why can't we buy this financial year so we can get the tax deduction? So I've run very hard today with my team to get it up and running and we've organized to have a hundred spots made available to people to join the real estate gym before midnight tonight so you get the tax deduction this year. And I'm gonna have the link to it in the posts under this um, live video. I'm also going to repost another post on Facebook with the link. Even if you don't want to take up that offer, watch the video. It's probably one of the best videos I've done in all the years I've been shooting videos. It goes for about a minute and 58. And just for the record, can I tell you, real estate gym membership after the tax deduction works out at $5 a week. This time, Real Estate Gym 2.0 is different. We're actually closing it off and having a smaller group of people and it's gonna run for 12 months. So I wanna repeat that. It's realestategym.com.au. Watch the video regardless. It's a great video to watch. Guys and girls, I'll see you on Sunday night for our usual script, technique, dialogue, or it could be a rant. See you then.